Hey, welcome to AntLab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. Today we're gonna play Donning, Donning the, the Purple. purple. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? To <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to don the purple? Indeed, I am. <laughs> All right, uh, Donning the Purple is a um, kind of an area controlly um, action selection type. In, very interesting mechanism game. <laughs> sabotage. Sabotage game of sabotage and intrigue, right? Yes. Um, for only one to three players. One, two, three players. One, two, or three players. Yes. Um, designed by um, Peter Olson and published by Tom Pet Games. Uh, this plays in about 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. We're going to try to keep it to 60 with just the two of us. Sure. So after the break, join us at the table and we'll show you how it plays. Welcome to the table. So here we have donning the purple. Where's your cloak? I don't have it yet. I'll have it at the end. Of the <laughs> if we had a purple cloak, I would sure wear one. Mm. Uh, but we have the game set up for two players and we will be taking actions, dealing with invaders, trying to assassinate the emperor. And outsmart each other. And outsmart each other. And uh, use our influence in the Senate to do things. So. Yes. With all that going on, let's show you how the game is set up for two, uh, give you a quick overview of the mechanics, and we're going to jump right in and start playing. So if you take a look at the board, you'll see it's sort of a map of the world, right? So this and here... The world as we know it. This here is the... <laughs> well, yeah, in, in uh, 193 AD, yeah. Roman Empire. The empire is not doing well. The, uh, I believe the, the former emperor was assassinated. Yeah. Francis has just taken over the role of the emperor. I have. And we are in sort and of the... I'm not even being tried for my crimes. No, you're not. I guess it didn't matter back then. You just <laughs> took what you wanted. So to set this game up for two players, uh, I'll go over the board real quick, and then we'll go through our player boards, and then we'll start playing. So uh, over here you have a grain price track, and that really is just going to determine the price of grain at the, um, the distribute food round, because the emperor has the option to buy grain to feed people, if we're short. Mm -hmm. right? We have a happiness track where we are going to track the happiness of the people of the Roman Empire. If that ever hits down to the skull, uh, the emperor immediately dies and mm -hmm. a new emperor is chosen. And here you have a production line where we're going to be placing buildings to be built out onto different provinces on the board. The board itself is broken into four different regions, each containing six different provinces with one extra that is Rome, the capital. And that's where we start with our player pawns, and we each have one estate built in Rome. There are four sets of two cubes of red that are in each of the capitals. So the capitals have these stars on them, so you know where to start these. So what these represent are just two Roman legions in mm -hmm. each of the capitals, and they're gonna help us defend the capitals against oncoming invaders, which are gonna be represented by these blue cubes. And they'll be coming in all throughout the game and wreaking all sorts of havoc yes. to the Roman Empire. Down here in the lower left, we have the Senate track, where we're gonna be placing or really bribing senators to give us sort of sway in the, in the political world of Rome. Mm -hmm. And over here's our year track. Game plays over four years. That is pretty much the board. Mm -hmm. Now our player boards. Yeah. So let's talk about the roles for a minute here. So you're the emperor, right? Yes. And what distinguishes the emperor from right. the player? Right. So in a two-player game, one of you will start off as the emperor, as I have, and the other will start off as the heir, which is denoted by this heir token. Um, and three-player game, you get to be a senator too. Correct. Or a senator. So anyway, um, the emperor board actually is separate from the player board uh, right here because it's going to be passed back and forth between the two of us. Um, on the Emperor board, in addition to the player actions, uh, the Emperor has some additional actions. So choosing an heir, moving the legions is the responsibility of the Emperor. Uh, building these aqueducts is going to be the responsibility of the Emperor as well as um, distributing the grain, which will be kept down here. Right. So. And as the heir, you know, I am next in line to be the emperor as long as I'm the heir, right? So, but if I, for some reason, don't become the heir anymore, the emperor can assign a new heir, which is usually yourself because you want to re yes, remain the emperor for the most line, part, right? right? Depending. But each player, Matt, is going to start with three buildings. Uh, 
that are under estates and you have three monuments mm -hmm. that are under build monuments and there'll be buildings that we can put out and build into the production queue to get out of the board yep. where estates will generate income and monuments monuments will unlock certain passive uh, abilities and bonuses right you have these uh stamina tokens which are going to be spent every time we take an action the minute you run out of stamina you die right that's how this game works you are going to just live die, and die live die, and die live die. and die and do things uh, but depending on what you do will determine, or what other players do, will determine how quickly you die. Right. And every time you die, you get a negative victory point, so you, you don't want to do it too often, but you do it often enough. Yeah. Um, there are also player actions on the board that can, for the most part, all be copied. And we'll show how that works. Which we will show, with the exception of the end of the assassination. So you can assassinate a senator, you can assassinate the emperor, uh, but all the main actions are really just moving. Uh, bribing Senate to get somebody out there uh, for you, building estates and building monuments. That's yeah. really all you can do in this game, and it's it's plenty because you yeah. have a lot to do in this game. Uh, the only difference with the two-player game versus a three is that you only have ten of these tokens mm -hmm. versus eleven. Yeah. And um, and uh, the emperor gets four actions to correct. the other players three per round. Yes, normally you would only get three and two. Right. Right. Uh, we also start with money. So I start out with 15 bucks, you start out with 10. Uh, I start with, out with one plot card, you start out with two. Now, throughout the game, you're going to be gaining plot cards, and plot cards can be used either for their strength to help you in combat when fighting invaders, or strength when trying to assassinate or defend from an assassination, or they can be used for the text on them. These can be played at any time during the game, on mm -hmm. your turn, essentially, uh, before an action is actually taken. Right. And you'll see how that, that works out later. We're going to be drawing event cards. We're going to have forum cards out that we'll explain as we go on. But for the rest of the setup, we each are going to get assigned one of these hidden agendas. And these hidden agendas are basically end game conditions that we're going to try and meet to aim. Like end game goals. End game goals to earn some extra points um, You know when we tally up the score yeah. at the end. So I'll just take one. I'll take one and show everybody what we have. The rest go back in the box. Okay. And okay, oh, oh, oh wow, okay, yeah, this is a tough one. Yeah, this is interesting. Mine's so, not really worth it. So that's mine. So you'll you'll get an idea of what each of us is actually going to be doing, or at least going towards when we get to year four. Mm -hmm. But that's going to stay out, you know, hidden for the rest of the game. Just for like a couple extra points. A couple extra points. Some of them points. are worth a lot of more points. A lot of more. Points, a lot of yeah. more. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I think that's it for the setup. Yeah, We're going to get playing. ready to uh, jump in and start playing. All right. All right. So, as with any Roman war, right, mm -hmm. we need to bring in enemies. We do. So, we're going to go through, each year is going to consist of eight different phases, yeah. right? Enemies are going to income, are going to income. <laughs> Enemy income. <laughs> are going to income. Incoming enemies, so yeah. they're going to invade. Uh, we're going to go through a harvest phase where all the farms, as long as they're not occupied by enemies and there's no famine in the region, yeah. they'll generate food. Uh, we're going to draw cards, so we're going to draw five event cards mm -hmm. and the emperor is going to play those out and they're all bad. Then we're going to be playing our actions, you know, mm -hmm. four actions to my three actions. We're going to be placing buildings, any buildings in a production line are going to come out. The emperor is then going to have to distribute food to all of the regions that are not occupied by invaders. Uh, the Emperor is then going to collect taxes, and all the other players are going to collect whatever you have out as far as estates go. And we each start with one estate. So, mm -hmm. you, and those are always safe. <laughs> the invaders can't go into Rome. Uh, and then we're going to do end of year to check to see if, um, you know, end, end game conditions are yep. met. All right, let's get to it. Okay. So, with the start, we're going to um, bring out enemies. So, we're going to roll a d6. Yeah. All right, six. So, what this means is that in. Uh, territory six, I guess, in Province. each of these regions, right? Yep. We're going to bring out two of these enemy people. Yep, two in each province. Um, all right, so how this works, um, each of these cubes is worth one, whether they're red or blue. Um, and in this game, you need to be strength positive in order to enter into a province that has either enemies or... You know, if the enemies want to come into where the legions are, they have to be stronger. So mm -hmm. these guys would go in here to engine number six, but they're not going to because our legions have a strength of two, so they're just going to go away. So they don't spawn. And now 
every legion on the board will move one region closer, one province closer to mm -hmm. the capital in number yep. order. So if the capital right. is lower in the number order, you'll go down sequentially. Right. So these will go to five. These will go to five. And these will not move into five Correct. because, again, we have two legions. Because they are of equal strength, they cannot go in yet. Yep. If either side is stronger, they could go in and, and wipe out the other. So that's, combat's very simple in this game. The higher number count beats the lower number count, wipes them out. So that's it for incoming enemies. Now we're going to harvest grain. But first... We're going to roll a d4. We're going to roll the pyramid. And this is going to turn, determine which region is going to have famine this round. All right, one. Region one gets famine. All right, so region so, one is not going to produce any grain. Not so this good. round. Um, and each of these provinces has, or each of the regions has one province that produces grain. So this will produce three, three, and six. So we'll get 12 total. And there's one in row. <clears throat> oh, and one six, in, seven, oh, eight, eight, nine, right. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. So there's a maximum of eight grain that yeah. you can harvest per season. And the way that this is tracked is actually on the emperor's board. And you only have three little spots down here, but you're just going to do your tens, your fives, and your ones. Yep. Yeah. You know, like counting bears. Counting bears. <laughs> so that is harvesting grain. So now we've got grain, so the emperor knows how much they will have to feed mm -hmm. everybody at the end of the, end of the uh, year. Yep. All right, now we draw cards. So we're going to take the top five cards off the event deck. One, two, three, four, five. And one at a time, the emperor will play them. And they're all bad. All very bad. All right. Uh, <clears throat> the guards want more money. All right, so the emperor loses stamina equal to the current year unless he pays $6. Okay, so what are you going to do? So I'm just going to lose one stamina. All right, so the emperor okay. is a little bit weaker. Yep. Approaching enemies. All right, roll the enemy die to decide a province. It's basically number. the same thing that happened in the one. beginning. is going to so happen again. So regions one and four. But for only certain regions this time. So one and four. You rolled a one, right? Yep. All right, and now... And now they're all going to move... In those two regions only. All the blue enemies. In region one and four. And four, yeah. Yep. So, so again, they're not going to go into here. He's These not. guys will come down, though. Yep. Okay. And that's it. So, yep. next card. So far, so good. Grain import price increases. Move grain up. Yep. In space. Okay. Oh, move... Wait a minute. Move it One down a space. This is, but yeah, okay. It should be flipped. Because you're saying move it down, but really you're moving it chrono like, you know. Yeah, the price is going up, but on the chart you have to move the thing uh, down thing physically. Down. But it's yeah. Alright, we're doing this again. Wow, more enemies approach. It's a war. Regions three and four. Okay. So there's for three, and here's for three, four. Three. And we will four. So this is gonna go here. And that's gonna go here. Everybody simultaneously moves, so these two are not going to go in, but this guy's moving closer. Okay. What about this guy? Did you move him? I did not. I did not. I did not. Five. Did you move him? Nope. I didn't either. So. Oh, no. It's just three and four. Yeah. Oh, why am I moving I don't know. Okay. You didn't move one, did you? Oh, they couldn't move anyway. They can move. Okay. Yeah. All right, ready? The heir dies. Oh, if, oh, so my heir right has been dead. All right. Has been. Has been. He has dead. been died. <laughs> so that. He's been killed. That hurts because once the emperor dies, we need to look to our line of succession. Yep, and right now I'm no longer the successor. And in this game, you only really score as the emperor. You but do. Yeah. we okay. take actions. I'm sure so you will figure it out. Well, actually, I'm going to draw, draw the forum cards. So these forum cards are kind of um, passive actions that we can take, or additional actions that we can take that eat up our stamina. So once we actually place a stamina there, we can't have it back. Um, which is not great because when we do die, we want to have as much stamina when we come back as possible. Right. Um, but these are usually better bonuses. So this one, for example, lets you put one stamina per space um, and either move the happiness track down or move it up. So depending on who's the emperor, I guess. Yep. Right. Want to do that. Okay, so now it's actions. Emperor takes four actions, and then I will take three. And remember, I can copy certain actions. Mm -hmm. Man, I really don't have a lot of money to start off with. It's not good. All right, I think I will start. By... We have a lot of enemies out on the board, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, usually it's not this much this early. Mm. 
going to I'm going to train two legions for four dollars. So one of the actions the emperor can take is to actually bring more legions out onto the board, and I'm going to do that. So I just paid a five. So let me have two more legions, please. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to bring them out over. Mm, I want to bring them over here to Hispana. Okay. Okay. So that is my first action. And they they come into the any capital you want. Mm -hmm. Yep. And oops, that was right there. And then I will move my legion group, and this is up to two spaces, and they can kill along the way. So I'm gonna take all these guys and move them up here and kill these two, and then move them back. Our second move. Um, and since I killed two of those cubes, you get to roll two glory dice. Mm. So I roll these and I get a two and a four. Basically anything except a one and a six is money. Is so money. I will get four, five, six bucks, which is great. So that was net positive for me. Okay. And let's see, two more actions. I think I'll... <clears throat> I think a one is a, uh, you get to draw a plot card, and mm -hmm. on a six you get to use move a used stamina into the unused yeah, stamina. Yeah, yeah. Which is nice. All right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play this plot card, which is to move the grain space, or to move the grain price up or down one. And I'm gonna move it back down to two. Oops. All right. Plot so cards cheaper. are free actions, so yeah. they don't count. And hmm. And then I'm gonna. Um, that's all I'm gonna do. You're not gonna put an aqueduct down, huh? Not right now. Really? Really? Okay. Yeah, because you always push them off. Uh, all right. I'm just curious because <laughs> it's your income, not mine. That you're not going to get paid on region one. That's all. Mm -hmm. Here, you're good. What do you want me to put? In no, order? no. I'm just saying that this is your choice. It's the thing I'm is, I'm just surprised you're not doing it. It's five dollars, and I don't have. I'm going to have to feed these people, and okay. I'm going to have to pay for the grain. So. All right, then I'll go. Don't question the emperor. You do what you want. <laughs> And you do always push them We're off. Watching too. the fall of Rome, folks. Oh, the fall it. of Rome. Stop All right, here I'm going to build a monument. Okay, here you would. And you could copy that. Uh huh. Would you like to copy that? I don't know. I'm thinking about it. You're not building it right there, though. Uh, yeah, that's where I'm planning on building it. So that's going to go up here on the production chart. Mm hmm. Hmm. No, I'm not going to copy you. You're not. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... Hmm. I'm going to bribe a senator. That's going to cost me $1. You pay the next available space in the Senate to put one of your tokens there. So now the furthest right on the Senate track, whoever's token that is, controls the Senate. So right now I control the Senate. I'm going to pay $3, and you can copy um, that move too yeah, if you'd I'm like gonna, to. I, think I'm, I am going to copy that. Um, so I'll pay $2. Put mine. And the way these work is they fill in from this side. All right, so I'm going to pay 3 and I'm going to build, this is my last action, a an estate. For three bucks, and that's gonna also go. And these go in from left to right as well. Okay, and I'm gonna copy that. All right. So the in a two-player game, only the first three buildings in the production line are built. In a normal mm -hmm. three-player game, the first four are built. Right. So I finish my actions. You finish your actions. All of our unused. Oh, and you get to draw a plot at the end of your turn. So oh, yeah. you draw a plot, and then my turn just ends. So I'm gonna draw this plot card. Mm -hmm. Uh, all of your unused, all of your used stamina go down to the bottom of your stamina pool. And 
that ends player action. So now we place building. So you get to place your building first. Mm -hmm. Um. All right, so I get to place this one, place that over here, and my monument comes down here. What this is going to do is unlocks the first bonus, which is plus one strength. So normally your pawn has a strength of two, and they can go out and fight invaders. But because they're two, I can't really fight anybody. But now I'm permanently plus one, so he, he has a strength of plus is of three now. So yeah. I can actually start taking people out on the board. So that is it for the build, and now we distribute food. All right. So we have to feed everybody that doesn't have blue tokens. Yep. So there's 25 provinces on the board. Including so Rome. 24, there's 25. Rome. Yep. Minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We need 19. 18. Uh, 25 minus 6. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 19. 19. So here's 15. 15. And... How many more do I need? So you're short four, four food and you can which buy. Which is going to be, I have to buy, which I would need $8, but I don't have $8, I have $7. Okay. So I can pay $6, right? Yep. For three, and then the final food right. I have to pay for in happiness. In happiness. Because they are starving. Yep. So that happiness goes down one pay. So one province didn't get fed. Yep. All right. So that's it for distributing food, and now we collect taxes. So every region that's not in famine mm -hmm. pays taxes. And um, one, two. Again, again, the ones that are, that don't have invaders because they're not going to pay taxes. Fifteen, right? All right. So we have three provinces, three right. regions that are paying taxes, right? Three mm -hmm. regions times six is 18, plus one 19. is 19, minus one, two, three, four, five. So 19 minus five is 14. Right. So the emperor gets $14 in taxes, mm -hmm. plus an additional five for each estate. Mm -hmm. So you have two estates, you're going to get an additional $10. Yep. I have two, two estates, estates, none of which are in the famine region, so I am going to collect $10. $10. So that's income, right? Okay. And now we go to end of year. The game is not over. The game is not over. We're going to go down to year two. Excellent. So what you have to do to check to make sure the game didn't end, right, is if all 28 of the invader tokens are on the board, game's over. Mm -hmm. We lose. If there are enemies in every capital, we lose. But we didn't, right? Mm -hmm. The next thing we do is we remove one famine token from each region. The emperor scores yeah. based on where the happiness is. So right now the emperor is going to get one victory point. Yep. Right? And then we would also have to discard down if you're above your hand limit. Mm -hmm. And our hand limit's three of yeah. these plot cards, and we are not. Right. You're not there. Cool. And then that's cool. it. So that is your one. Let's go to your two. Start again. Incoming enemies. One. Great. Great. <laughs> uh, two. Uh, good three. thing I brought those legions in over there. Four. Okay. Oh, so. All right. So I put these in this region one or in territory one here, province. Right. That actually gets rid of your building, though. Right. So they destroyed my building. Yeah. Which is not good. So these guys would come in Pontus, but they're not going to because there's a legion there. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So interesting. Okay. okay so that was that. Now everybody's going to move. Mm -hmm. Everybody tries to move. So these guys so they can't. Don't move. These guys move up, these guys move up and join them. But again, since we're all moving simultaneously, they're not going to go there and then attack. Mm -hmm. Like These guys are going to try to go and they can't. So right. then these are gonna, they're going to bunch up. These go to three. Did you move these? Mm -mm. So it's going to go down to five. And this is a one. It's going to go to two. And knock out my estate as well. And take over that farm, which is bad. Yeah, it's not good. All right, so we are starting to get hmm. surrounded here. So yeah, we have to go do that's something, not I think. Good. No, that's, we're in trouble down there. Oh, okay. All right, so we harvest grain. Yeah. <laughs> so we still get. Uh, oh, wait, well, no, we have to roll a fan. We're going to see. Yeah. yeah. Three. three. So region three gets Great. famine. That's a, that's a producer, too. Yeah. That's not good. Uh, All right, yeah. so. Six. Six, that doesn't produce nope. nine. Seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. Ten, eleven, twelve, yeah. That's it. 
This looks like a really good round for you to be coming up for. Well, I would have if I was the heir, but since I'm not, <laughs> this is no boy. Hey, I didn't have any choice in that. That's true, actually. That is true. This is a bad round for the emperor. Uh, what the aqueducts do, though, is they prevent famine from coming in that yes. region. And they also get rid of famine, and they make people very happy. Mm -hmm. well, they, they came in, they took out all our housing. That's they great. did, I know. Not good. All right. All right, so okay. that was uh, Harvest Grain. Let's now we're going to draw some events. One, two, three, four, five. What do we have? They want more money. Uh, uh, once he pays six bucks, I'll pay the six bucks this time. All right. These guards, I'm always trying to tell these guards to keep me safe. Your rivals are doing well. Oh. All the players except the Emperor rolled two glory dice. Yes. Finally, things are going my way. <laughs> Double <laughs> sixes. Double sixes. That means I can move two of these. Yeah. Oh. That's good. I am doing all right. <laughs> You're doing well. <laughs> I am. Dilemma. Ooh. All right, the Emperor receives one victory point and the other players receive $30. Mm -hmm. Or the Emperor receives $30 and all players receive a victory point. Okay. You can have your point. I'm I'll taking my 30 bucks. It. I'll take my points when I can get them. Points, points, points. Okay. All right. 30 bucks. The Senate leader is killed. <gasps> Remove the rightmost senator. The player that now has the rightmost senator, me, rolls the glory dice. Ugh. So cheap. <laughs> Five, Five dollars. Bucks. Swimming in money now. Nice. Oh, oh unless good. he pays nine dollars. Yeah, just give it right back. <sighs> yeah, so it's gonna cost you two stamina or nine dollars. If you're paying the nine, nine bucks, bucks, huh? Yeah. All right, that's it for the cards for now. A forum card is drawn. So let's see where we stand here. Oh, bless you. Excuse me. All right. Me. One stamina per space. And what is it? Way. Like, you know, left what? to right of All right. right. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, we have victory points, $15, and two times plot cards. So two that's plot good. cards is nice, too. All right. Okay. Cool. So go ahead and take action, then, yeah? Oh, okay. Interesting. So player actions. Okay. All right. For my first move, I'm going to choose an heir because the Emperor is feeling kind of old hmm. and he's like, I think I need to pick an heir and it needs to be somebody in my bloodline. In your bloodlines? So that's $15. It's not cheap for him to pick an heir. But Actually, yeah, it is expensive. It's very expensive. Um, I would like to build an aqueduct now. So you are building an aqueduct. Mm hmm Okay. What did that cost? Five bucks. Wow. And I feel like I need to do some cleaning up here. Um, it's a really good plot card. Mm. Oh, crap. Did we harvest grain? No, no, we didn't. Yeah, you did. I you did? counted it, but I guess you didn't put the Oh, things. I didn't take the cubes. How much grain is it? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Is it twelve? Yes, all right. So, yes, you did take $12 instead of 12 grand. <laughs> so, let's so keep an eye on what she does over hey, there because I'm she sure likes you, to. I'm sure we have a comment from like two minutes ago. I'm sure we that's do. It's like, Francis took mine instead. That's why I won't put any notations on that because I want them to catch it. I want them to point these things out. I. The cheating that happens. I have a headache. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So back to my back to my moves, right? At least I caught it, though. You know. You did. Um, so I built an aqueduct. I made myself an air. Okay. So you've taken two actions. Yeah, I'm looking at what else I like to do here. I think I would like to. Oops. I 
I'd like to move the happiness up too. Maybe. No. That doesn't seem like worth it, you know what I mean? I mean, I guess it could be. We'll see what happens. Let's do that. We'll move it up too. One, two. Good? Mm hmm. And, uh. What else do I want to do? I should really. Train some more legions over here. This is bad. But there's like literally nothing I can do about that right now. I guess I could do this. One, two, three. Um, let's let's do this. I'm gonna move actually for my fourth action. I'm gonna use this plot card. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to move my guy. They can kind of move across where these little boats are. Um, yours. I'll move mine. One, two, three. So I have a strength of five because these. this has strength of three plus my two. Right. That wipes out these guys. And so. the guys you ran through. Because you went one, two, three. It kills oh, them too. okay. So that's six. You don't have to stop. Yeah. You can pass through it. So Whoa, no, what? you can't. Why? Because the the bonus oh, only yeah. happens on the first, so let me explain. Oh, that. you're right. You but put, I don't want to bring you put a bonus of three out, right? So that but gave, I can just pass, oh, can't, I can't pass you through. You can't just you're pass right, through an right. enemy. So what happens is you have a strength of two right now, so you bo boosted it to a three with the plot yeah. card. The minute you your first combat removes your bonus. Yeah. So now you're back to a two. You can continue on, but you can't go in here. I know. But I don't want to do that. That's a waste. That's a waste. I won't, I'm not going to move then. Then why don't you just buy two more legionnaires? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. In here, and then they can't come in. Yeah. It buys you a little more time. Yeah, no, that's, that's kind of where I was going with that. Because that helps, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, up here. I mean, it doesn't help if we get any more people, but... All right, let me get you more of those. Two more legionnaires in Egyptus? Yeah. All right. All right, that's all my moves. That's it. It's all four, and I can't copy any of them. Nope. All right, I guess I'm going to do some production. Let's get some buildings on the board. What say you? Sure. All right. Uh, let's build an estate. Would you like to copy? No. That's $3. Five. I get two back. Mm. <laughs> All right. I'm going to. So that's one. This will be two. I'm going to move three spaces. Uh, one, two. I don't want to go down there. Maybe I'll just go to here. One and wipe them out. I have a strength of three automatic because mm -hmm. I have yep. a, a monument. So that's going to kill those two. I'm going to get to roll two dice for glory, one and a two. Hmm. So I get a plot card and two gold, please. Okay. And I'll copy your move. All right. So now you're going to go kill them. Mm-hmm. No, that kills you, though. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. That does kill you. So that's all going to happen now. Yep. So move pawn. So I will use my strength now. So I'll go one, two, three mm -hmm. with my strength to kill these guys. Get four glory dice. Mm-hmm. Whoops. All right. I get a plot card. Mm-hmm. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bucks. All right. But the emperor and is dead. The emperor is dead. However, I am the heir. Okay. So the heir token just goes back here. Emperor comes back to life. Well, he isn't really a resurrected, no. I guess, right? It's but the he's family like, member gets appointed the Family member the is like appointed the emperor. And then... And you gain one negative victory point. Yes, for dying. For dying. Um, and then I'm going to play this plot card called Move the Air Token from Anywhere to Your Player Map Free of Charge. She just wants to maintain. So that just means I really <laughs> need to see Rome go down. Crumble. Yeah, that's the only way I can really prevent um, bad things from happening as in you getting more points. So that's two of my actions. I get you one have more points than me right now. I get one more action. 
So I'm going to play a plot card. Okay. I can do one extra action during your turn this year, mm. and I don't have to use stamina to do That's it. Good. And it cannot be copied. Yeah, and it can't be used on face up. Correct. Card. So I'm going to do my free action as a build another estate. That was your free action? Yes. You're not supposed to use stamina. Oh, okay. I mean, you can if you want. Nope, I won't use it. So that was my free, that can't be copied. And now you're gonna build another one. I sure am. Yeah. Um, okay, and for my third action, I'm going to build another one. Did I pay five for that other one? No. I think I thought I did. You didn't give me any money. I thought I did. And push them over Wait, so. what are you? what are you doing? Building five per, I have to pay. There are oh, there's three. three. All right, so there's five, so, six, seven, eight. Just, there you go. Wait, 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 wait. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, six. I know your like, gears are churning up there. They you're are. You're screwing yourself. That's all right. All right, I will copy that. Okay, that's fair. So, one, oops. One, two. All right. Okay. All right, so I can play my card. So I'm gonna make two items on the building track swap spaces. Mm. So I'm gonna swap these two. Mm-hmm. Do I wanna do that? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I didn't take my plot card at the end of my turn. So this one's spent. You were at the beginning, right? Yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna go. Okay. I'm gonna do that. And that's it for my turn. That's all three actions. So all of our used go down here. All right, so now we go into the building phase. So now, this is actually because you are the head of Senate. Mm -hmm. The, the head of Senate actually can swap the, spe the position of two buildings on the building track hmm. as being the lead, you know, own, uh, controlling Senate. That's one of the benefits. Yeah. And I will. All right. And now we build. So build actually, your aqueduct. Yeah, I will still build the aqueduct. So, and I'll put it. I don't know where I want to put it. The thing is, if you, it, this, yeah, I guess I'll put it over here mm -hmm. for now, like in here. And that'll clear this famine. It'll actually clear up to two famine in the in that region. Yep. Um, then it brings three happiness. Yeah. To the people. Yep. All right, and I get my two houses. You can only have one building per space yep. nice. on the board. So I'll put that there. I'm going to put this over in Britannia. <laughs> and then, yep. so that's building. Now we distribute food. So we have, wow, okay, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. Okay. So I've got 12. Mm -hmm. And... What is that? Sixteen. Sixteen dollars. Okay, and I'll just pay. So pay a twenty, get four back. Mm. Okay, five back. All right. So everybody's fed. And I get plus one happiness because all the Roman provinces were fed. Did and I get? I don't know if I got it last time. Because they were. Because we reduced fed. the happiness right yeah. now. Okay. Just checking. And we now do collecting of taxes. Okay. So there again, it's twenty. So it's the inverse, the same. And you have how many houses on the board? Wait a minute, twenty. Wait, it was twenty. How many did I just pay for grain? Twenty. Oh yeah, I forgot. I only had twelve. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you get ten more dollars for having two houses out, or you, you know you only have one house out. Yeah. So you get another five bucks. Five. I've got all three, so I get fifteen dollars. You have five. Mm, yeah. All right, and then end of year. So 
famine would go away, mm -hmm. right? We discard down to three cards. You get three points. Yep. And that's it, right? I think that's it. Mm -hmm. All right. And we all the capitals aren't filled and all the things are on the board, so we're good. Yeah. Uh, now we move on to year three. All right. All right, year three. Incoming enemies. Okay. That was weird. It almost landed on its like point. <laughs> Six. Six. There we go. Six. Six. They won't go in there. They'll go here. And let's see. Oh, there goes the aqueduct. Oh, bye bye aqueduct. Boom, boom, boom. Immediately drops the happiness back down. Mm-hmm. And now they all move. Wow, these guys are almost ready to take Egypt. Hmm. Uh, yep. these, these guys, guys are, are going to two. These guys are going to oh, go to five. These guys are going to knock out knock by the little house. house so did you do I didn't do that middle no. section yet. Three goes to four. Five, five can't, can't go, go six. in. And these are all done. Okay. Cool. All right. Ooh, okay, harvest grain. Right. Let's watch and see if you take money this time. Mm hmm? Three. three. Oh, they again, knocked out. it would have been. See, the thing is, you have the aqueduct there. It won't. You won't famine the area. Right. But whatever. All right, so this region's not producing. We've got six, seven, eight, 15. nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. So you're going to get 15 grain this time. Yep. And that is harvest, so draw cards. So we're going to do the events. One, two, three, four, five. What do we have? Enemy movement. Move all blue closer to the capital. Okay, so I'll, t I'll handle these two okay. regions. Okay, and I'll take care of one and Can't move. Two. He moves and he can't move. All right. Simultaneously, these guys won't go there, but these guys will come here. So the next round, they're going to take that capital. Yeah. Okay, next card. Okay. Grain import price increases. All right, grain is up to three. Okay. Grain shortage. Remove three grain. Ooh, so you go to 12. Yeah. All right. The Roman people are unhappy. Well, wow, this is true. You still want to kill me? I may, I, I was considering assassinating the emperor, but... Approaching enemies. But right. I actually might not. <laughs> I might let you have this round. Oh, you want to be the emperor? Okay. Five. Five. In regions one and two. One and two. All right, so that's one. Here's two. Five. five. Wow. And then they all move. And then they all move. They just took the capital. In one and two, close to the capital. Because that's all the blues, right? Yep. In that region. So these guys go here, these guys go here, and those guys still don't move in. Oof. So we've lost one capital so far. So region two is completely overrun. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. That there was all go. of them. That's it. Ooh, that was a rough event. And now we draw a new form card. Yeah. What is this? Oh, move the food truck up or down. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting. Yeah, let's beef that price up. I think the market's short. There really <laughs> is a food truck. Serious shortage. green shortage. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, wow. Okay. My turn. Yeah. Lots to do this round. Hmm, I'll say. And how. And how. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I wish we had tens. It's hard to see my money. Um, all right, so. I guess I'll maybe put in another. See, I'd really like to get that taken care of over there. The famine? Yeah, that would be nice. Hmm. That's really good. Um, I'm going to use one and go here. Mm -hmm. Take two plot cards. All right. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I'm in a really bad spot down here, too. Who? Me. Yeah. 
Like I'm not in a great location. I guess we'll go ahead and build another aqueduct. I'll do this, so we'll do a plus three, and I'm gonna move this guy. Mm -hmm. One, two, that's what I wanna do. What was he here? Mm -hmm. two, I'd like to take care of that. We'll do this though, I guess. So that takes care of those guys, roll four. Right. Yep. That's played. Okay. Money, money, money. Five, ten, fourteen bucks. All right. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm gonna copy you. Okay. So I'm gonna move one, two, three. Wipe all of these out. That's four. Mm. Right, I get a card, I get a stamina back, and I get seven, six dollars. Six, six bucks. Six bucks. There you go. Uh, what did I use to do the aqueduct, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that six up there? Yeah. Jeez, at least. That's crazy. All right, let me train two more legions. Okay, where would you like them? Up here. All right. And that's four bucks, right? Mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna move them here, one, and then move them back, two. So it wipes these guys. Okay. Four. And because that was a capital city, that yeah, it wasn't up. capital. What? Yes, it were, was. No, you clear them from oh, the I space from next to the capital. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> but I want the. No. Them. All right, plot card, and nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen bucks. Yep. That was your four actions, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, you know what? Did I take too many actions? No, you have four. No, I took this. Oh, yeah. So what was that last action you did? I destroyed those Yeah, things. that can't happen. Oh. Yeah, that has to come back. Are you You moved already. No. Well, I was and I copied it. I, we, have to, we can't do that. We have to take back the last action. Oh, okay. Okay. Which means you have to pay back thirteen dollars, and that plot card has to come back, <laughs> or your best plot. No, card. it's the same one. I'll bury it. Well, it's hard to tell when you took these. You yeah, know what that's, I mean? that's that's like tricky. it's really hard. So it was thirteen, so I get seven back. Yep. Okay. All right, so that was it. Uh yeah, that's a tough move because. Even if I were to move, mm -hmm. you would have to, you couldn't move them because that's moving. You couldn't copy. No, I was going to, I was going to copy my other move when I killed these. Oh, uh, okay. So. All right. No worries. No worries. It's fine. That's all good. All right. So I'm going to start by placing, bribing a Senator for $2. Mm. So that's my first action. This guy? Yeah, I'm going to move that one down. I'll use because that was my copy. 
Uh, but I'm going to play this plot card and remove the rightmost senator from the senator track, please. Okay. And I'll copy that. Uh, the bribing of the senator. Mm. I kind of want my own senator up there. I don't like that you killed him. Um, I just, I didn't kill him. I just asked him to leave the okay. Senate. That's fine. I just kindly asked him to leave the <laughs> Senate. Could you please leave? <laughs> right. Please leave. Uh, oh, okay. So I'm going to spend another one to move the food down a space. Mm -hmm. And that was my second. And my third is going to be to build a monument. And that's going to go right over to here. And that's going to cost me $5. Okay. You can copy the monument. Yeah, I will copy that. All right. All right, so that is all the actions. That's all you're gonna do? So I only have three actions. Mm. So you're gonna move all your chips out to your used spot. And now we place buildings, but since I control Senate, yes. I'm gonna, gonna swap switch? these two buildings okay. around. And that's it. Okay. And now we place. Um, hmm. I'm just seeing if I want to use any of these cards. Oh, did I take a plot card at the end of my turn? I don't think I did. Oh, and I didn't either. Mm. I nice. don't think we're allowed to play plot cards anymore, though. Oh, we're not? Because all the turns are over. What? Well, can I just play this in case I just, as if I played it during my turn? I thought we could play them at any time. I, I think it's kind of, it's kind of like timing-wise, though. They're like usually triggered by before or mm -hmm. between actions, but what did you want to do? I just wanted to put two... Put my unused things on a face up. Oh, right, yeah, go ahead and do that. Is that okay? I guess. Because I'm going to get $15 and I'm going to move that up. Oh, all right. Okay. All right. So. Okay, so then I could play my plot card and remove three grain from grain storage, right? If you can play them anytime. Okay. That leaves you with nine grain. Okay. All right, now we play. So go ahead and take your monument. Hey, you kicked that thing oh, off I'm there. taking him off anyway. He's finally coming out. See the light of day. I'm going to put him mm. back in Britannia because okay. I really want to be there. All right. Distribute the foods. Alright, so, so... 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. Alright, so... 21. And how much food do you so have? So I need four, right? No. How much food do you have? You have five, six, seven, eight, I nine. nine. 21 minus nine is 12. So you need 12 food. 12, 12. provinces need to be fed. Okay, 36 dollars. So 36, right? Yeah, you can okay. afford that. Yeah. So there's 40, and I'll take six back. Or four back, I mean. Four back, yeah. Yeah, you have plenty of money. Yeah, I'm not concerned. And I'll push that happiness. Happiness up goes up one. Right. Everybody's fed. And now we collect taxes, right? So yeah. the, region three doesn't pay. Um, and we have 18, 19, 18, 17. So you get $17. Okay, I'll just trust you on that. Seventeen dollars plus how many houses estates do you have out? One plus another five. That's twenty-two. I get fifteen dollars. Okay. There you go. All right. End of year. So all the capitals aren't aren't taken. Correct. All of the enemy isn't on the board. Mm -hmm. You collect two victory points. Uh huh. And. You discard down to three, and we move on to year four. Okay. And that's it. And the famine goes away. Famine goes, well, it's at the start, right? Uh, no, no, you're no. right, at the end, yeah, at the end, famine mm -hmm. goes away. So now we're on year four. Year four. All right. 
Final All right, year. final year. Incoming enemies. Let's start it up. Two. Two. Great. All right, they're not going to come in there. Africa. Dacia. That's not good. That's not good either. Oh, no. So now okay. I'll handle these two regions. You can okay. handle those two. So two's going to go to three. So these are going to take the capital. Go three. These are going to go to three. And these guys are going to march. No, I already moved those. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, did you do them? Hmm? I already did those You guys. did these guys? Yeah, they went from two to three. And, and these you, went from two to three. And you did And them. these didn't come in two. All right, so you did everybody but yeah. this one. Okay, so then we're done. Yeah. So region two and three have been overrun. Yes. All right. Wow. Okay, event cards. Uh, no, harvest. Rain, harvest. Yeah. Who's famine? Three. three. Again. Always. We just have this like issue over here with region three. We need an aqueduct. If only I could build an aqueduct. I know, that emperor. Fantastic. It's just not <laughs> capable of maintaining a, right. a sound kingdom. All right. And we are on harvest. So no harvest. You get six. 15 again. 39, 10, 12, 13, 15. Yep, 15. I'll have to see about knocking that down. Okay. All right. So that is harvest. Now we draw. So this will be the last five events. The last draw. The last draw. What's the last straw? Yes. <laughs> Yes, it is. <laughs> Not the last straw. Nope. Okay. All right. Green, Green shortage. shortage. This sounds three. familiar. So you have 12. Okay. Famine. Oh. So roll we the triangle. I'll roll the famine this time. Two. Two. Place that on the region. Okay. And there's no aqueduct, so okay. we're okay. So we have two famine regions. Approaching enemies. Okay. Let's see. Which provinces they come in? Oops. Oh. Two. Sorry. Oops. Province two, two. and three. Uh, two and three. And we're putting in region so two. two. So it won't go there. Two and three. Oh, two and three. Two right and here. three. Okay. Region two. There's two. Mm. And there's two right on the far. Okay. And then everybody in that and region move. moves closer. So these are moving in. These are moving here. These are moving to four. These are moving to three. Okay. Okay. Your rivals are doing well. Oh, all players, all players except the emperor. emperor may put a free estate or monument on the track. I like that. Mm -hmm. That's okay. good. Volcanic eruption. Ooh, roll the all die. Right. Four. Four. Ooh, down and there. a d six. So roll the d six and decide yeah. which exact province it hit. Six. six. Oh, right, right there, where oh, no. you are. Actually, that's okay. Go ahead. In the target um, province. Players, players lose, lose stamina, one stamina, so that actually I killed lose, the emperor. Killed me. Remove any buildings. Remove any buildings. Or units, sorry, so there's none. And add a famine. To the region. Okay. And since I died here yes. in this eruption, I actually could just go back to Rome. Go back to Rome. And you actually. Go back Rome. You died. Yeah. And you take a negative victory point. Yep. And I stay the emperor. And you stay the emperor because you were the heir. Yep. And that starts it all over again. All right, player actions. Uh, form last form card actually comes up. Yep. Receive one stamina per space. So that's mm. just money. All right, I like that one. Get money. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. All right. So the emperor actually gets to take turns first. I guess I can go ahead and move this legion here. Do my move from last time that I couldn't do, and then mm -hmm. move them back All right. for two. All right, plot card. Do two plot cards. Move the stamina back. Kind of no, 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 no. That's not how it works. Oh. I think because if you don't have any of the unused, I roll again. Right? You roll it again. Two yeah. plot cards. Yeah. Two plot cards and five bucks. And. Reroll. Three. Three more dollars. These are my new ones. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. 
All right, well, I'll play this one. Place one to two of your unused on a face-up card. Mm -hmm. So I'll do that one and that one for $35. Wow. That's big money. Mm-hmm. I'll just take 40 and put five back. All right. So that was... Go. So that was, that was a free two. action. Oh, that was a plot card, right? Yep. Yeah. So you actually so have three I have three more actions, actions left, yeah. right? All right. So I'll play this and move this here. I know. I know you're so mad. But Just cheat. I, I didn't pick it on purpose. It's, right. it's not going to be tough to assassinate you. Yeah. You yeah. have three stamina. Yeah. I will take Emperor this round. <laughs> okay. There's no question. I mean, I'll play this plot card. Do an extra. We want to take an extra action. I mean, but you're not going to do your three actions. Yeah, That's I don't. Strange. Well, I know, but I'm just like, I'm ready to just like move my emperor to like Turks and Caicos and have a vacation or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> emperor's not going to make it. What? Maybe his descendants will make it. Yeah. But that emperor's not going to make it. I'm. Yeah, but I'm just pretty much like. Like, there's not really any incentive for me to build anything. You know what I mean? Or train any legions, you know? Like, I, I think I'm just done. Like, I'll take an extra action. And, like, build something. Like, I'll build an estate, maybe? You know? Because why not? But you're not going to take an action action to do that? I don't understand no. that. Well, why would I take any actions? Especially if you're just going to kill me. Okay. You I'm know? Just curious, that's all. I mean, there's nothing else really for me to do. I mean, I could go... I could, like, take ten more dollars. Why? You, know? you get points for money at the end. You do? Yes. Really? Okay. No, I didn't know. So I'll take a victory point to make up for the one I'm going to lose in a minute. You know what I mean? And, like, I'll take $10. How many points do we get for money? It's like a dollar for every 20. A point for every 20. Hmm. No, I'm just going to keep these. I, I don't want you to talk me out of this. Okay. I'm done. You're done? Yeah. All right. So it's my turn. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to assassinate the emperor. Okay. So I roll a d6, and mm -hmm. you have a ch chance now to place a card. Oh, I a plot card. Place a plot card, or two, or three, mm -hmm. in defense. Are you going to do it? A defense? Well, this is going to defend against my role. Um. No. You're not. So I just have to roll the die. I don't want to play any play cards either. So I rolled a six. Okay. So you lose six stamina. All right. So you've killed me. I've killed you. Uh-huh. The new heir is born. Okay. And I'm going to assassinate you again for $5. Do you wish to play cards? So I get that many points plus the cards, right? Yes. Plus the card points. Mm hmm. Mm. Sure. All right. You're going to play one card? I guess. Are you playing any cards? I'm not playing any cards. Okay, yeah. All right. So here we go. I feel like this Six. is gambling. It is. All right. So I get to keep this? No. How many cards? How many points? Two. two. So six minus two is four. So you take four damage. Why can you just say you killed me again? I did. 
Right, because you got six. Yes. Well, no, but and I this... only had five points. Well, yeah. So same thing. So now. So wait, I'm supposed to take one of these for the first time you die. Did I already take one for the first time I died? Is there one on top of your pile? What? I don't know. Okay, so you just take this. Enjoy. So well, here's Enjoy how it works. Grain. The now that I'm the emperor, I get f to continue the rest of my actions. Mm -hmm. I took two. I get two more actions now yes. because the emperor gets four. Right. Um. You died, and I think that's it. You just keep going. I do. I continue my turn now. Yep. Okay, so I have twelve food to work with here. Mm-hmm. All right. Can I still play plot cards? You can, yeah. All right, I'm gonna steal five dollars from the emperor. Ooh. Okay. Why are you taking all my money now? Because I couldn't <sighs> use that whole game. Uh, interesting. Okay. All right, so for my final two actions. Oof. Uh, I'm going to spend $5 of my last 20 and build an aqueduct. <laughs> okay. All right. Whoosh. And so that was Yeah, that. I was going to say. And I've got one more action left. But do I want to take it? Probably not, because I'll die and I'll get a negative victory point. Yeah. So I'm going to have to end my turn here. Okay. All right. Um, Anything else you'd like to do? No. Okay. I think we're going to end the actions. Right? All right. So now we're going to place buildings. And since I own Senate, mm -hmm. I'm going to swap these two. Mm-hmm. Naturally. And I'm going to build two aqueducts. One in this region. Mm-hmm. Which is gonna get rid of that. Yeah. And one in region, I guess region three. Mm, okay. Build it here, get rid of that. And that's gonna move us up six happiness. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And that is it for buildings. Oh, actually I get a I get to put that down here. Okay. And now we distribute food. All right. So we have 25 provinces minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 19. 19 provinces at $3. We have 19 minus 12, 7. 7 times 3 is 21. Mm -hmm. 18. So. so I you can, have 7, you could do. You have 18. You could do 5. Eighteen dollars. I can buy. You do six. I can buy six food, and yeah. I have to pay how many food? What? I have twelve. Nineteen. You have twelve, so you have to pay seven food. So I'm one food short. You're one food short. Okay. With all your money. So then these guys go down a notch, right? Yep. And this food gets fed. All right, so everybody's been fed. Collect taxes now. Which does bump this back up. No, it doesn't, because you had everybody to wasn't fed. So now we collect taxes. Yep. So we're going to collect in three regions. Yeah. Right? So we have one. So it's 18 minus. 18. Well, 19 minus. 19. One, two, three. 16. Plus I have two estates, three estates out there, plus 15. 31. Okay. There you go. All and right. I'll get five. And we do end of year. So this is actually end. So I get three victory points for being the emperor. <laughs> for coming and taking it all back at the yeah, end. Yeah, at the very end. I swooped in and took three points. Okay. All right. So that is the end of the game. So now we have to do end game scoring. All right, so for end game scoring, let's go through this. So the player with the rightmost senator in the Senate receives two victory points. Okay. I get two of those. Those who have built all three of their monuments receive two victory points. That's not even I on the I get two card. victory points. It's That's actually not on, on card. that. Yeah, it's right here. I thought you just got two. I never took my points for that. 
Okay, I thought you just got your points for that. Okay. Any extra victory points from forum cards and plot cards are distributed, but you took your forum point when you took that space. Yeah. Uh, now we have each player receives one victory point for every 20 coins they have. So I get one. I think it's for every 10. I said 20. You get one? Yep. Okay. Yeah. How did I get a negative victory point? You died. When did I die? When the air died. When the air died? Oh. No, you died at least once in this game. I did not die. Not once. You, you must have given me this instead of a regular I victory. didn't. I didn't. There's no way I should have gone again. I'll take it back if you want. I'm just saying. We'll, we'll watch the replay, but I don't know when I got it. You died negative. at least. You can't. We haven't played one game where you didn't die. Uh, I mean, where like one of us didn't die at least once. All right, maybe I did. I died five times, four times. Well, that was... There's no way. Okay. Nice try. <laughs> you distracted me from counting up on my points. Oh, I'm One, so two, sorry. three, four... So I get four. Okay. I did not. I did not. Maybe I did. I don't remember. It was been a long time ago. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it was a long time ago. It was a long game. All right. So each player shows their hidden agenda cards and gain positive or negative victory points for them. So there's mine. What is yours? All right. Oh, that's not mine. That's my plot card. <laughs> <laughs> You're so weird. Um, I get two points if I have $50 or more, which I do. Okay. I get one... If I'm the richest player, which I am. And you are. So you get one. And I don't get negative points. All right. So I get two points if I'm the emperor. Okay. And I get one point if I'm the heir, but I'm not the heir. I'm just the emperor. Huh. And minus one if I have no senators in the Senate. Ah, okay. But I yeah, do. That's good. That's good. But I do. All right. And we just add up our points now. And, right. and then subtract your negatives. I have nine. Really? Wow. That's good. What a close one. I came back really, really strong at the end. That's good. Dang, if only I could have uh, acquired the air. Yeah. There were some things I didn't do too, but that's okay. All right. Let's go talk about it. Sure. <sighs> All right, donning the purple. So you almost donned it. I was close. You were close. If I had like a couple more bucks to feed them at the end, that would have got me my. I lost a point just for that. I forgot that I could kill your senator the whole yeah. game. Yeah, so leaving so him out there let me really manipulate the building market. It did because I kept not building stuff because you kept switching my buildings. Yeah. And I was like, well, why am I gonna bother? Mm -hmm. But I forgot that I can actually kill your senator. It's like right there on my board. I just, I don't know. I just forgot. All right, but, so let's yeah, uh, let's briefly talk about um, the game. Yeah, and some of the the uh, the highlights and then some of the mechanics stuff like that. Right. So let's um let's for this one let's start with theme. Okay. Um, because it, this does have kind of a, it's very historical, mm -hmm. historically accurate. I think you know theme for the most part. So, um, did you feel like you were actually like? It's it's kind of neat, you know. It, it's it's of it's that. sort of like um, it's sort of misleading, right? So you, you'd sort of think that with this type of board, it's going to be a lot of strategic army conflict, you know, like right. army yeah. combat and army conflict, right? On the board where there's a lot of dice and you're trying to like maneuver yeah. troops and all that stuff. But that's it's really not, such a yeah. small part of this game, right? That, like I said, it's it's deceiving because this game is more about the political. Struggle. Struggle, yeah. the, the um, sort of like the sabotage and, yeah. and like... Like the conniving. Yeah, like it's almost like, you know, like just, just getting your, your spies and infiltrators out there and your assassins to go out and kill senators right. and to go out and try to assassinate the emperor because, you know, this is like, there's just no holds barred, right? You can just Which is do interesting because we're in, like in a tactical combat game, you have clear regions mm -hmm. where you're trying to destroy you know, certain regions or you're trying to like make sure regions are like really good because they're yours. But in this, like 
it's like you want Rome to do well yeah. in the event that you take over as emperor. You want it to do well while you're the emperor. But you don't want it to do well while your opponent is the emperor. Yes. So you kind of want to play like a short game and a long game. Mm -hmm. Where long game, it's it's a kind of like, well, short game, it's like not great for your opponent if you're yeah. the emperor. Um, but you want to you want to take actions that it's strategically kind of within one or two moves you can quickly take it back like you did at the end. At the end. So you know the happiness was really far down. You were like hoarding those those um, aqueduct plans or yeah. something like thematically. I was using the Senate um, to yeah, stall like, your plans until you became until I was ready to have and you built. implemented it and you were like. Hey, look what I did. Six happiness. Like everybody was like, yeah. wow, this emperor actually can get things done for the infrastructure. I was like, yes, I can make everyone yeah, happy. He's been like sitting on the plans. So. <laughs> um, but, but had I known I could kill your senator, I, I definitely would have done that. Yeah. Because that kept me from putting out senators too. I was yeah. like, why am I going to put out a senator? I'm never going to be the right one. But then I forgot I could kill you. Because you're always going to be the wrong one. Anyway. I know. Only mine. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, thematically, I think that it really does kind of get you in that um, that political struggle. Yeah, the whole espionage and sabotage. Like and that's where this. Yeah. That's where the game shines, right? In the whole setting up your opponent to fail. Right. But being able to swoop in in a timely fashion. And to take the credit for it. Yeah, right? exactly. And that's what I did at the end. Was I took the credit for all of your infrastructure plans. Yes. Yeah. I saw them. I, I brought them to fruition. That was you good. did. That's good. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So. All right. So let's talk about mechanics. Well, we talked about mechanics a little bit. Um, you know, the fact that it's, it's definitely action selection. Yeah. Um, it's a really neat mechanic. Uh, the cop. You know, that copy mechanic. Kind yeah, of, yeah, you yeah. You are able to take actions kind of not simultaneously, but on your opponent's turns, you're able to copy those moves right select ones and this and i think you know just kind of rounding out the theme and i think we went okay. right into mechanics we started talking about theme because i think i think the theme does tie into the mechanics right because yeah, I think so too. It, and it does, i think it does it quite well because you're you're trying to branch out or or expand this action selection mechanism across multiple generations Mm -hmm. Right. This isn't like it's all happening in one year, right? Right. It's happening across generations. Maybe it's only like four years, and they all happen to be just members say, of the like, same family. Oh, no, yeah. But you're, decade. you're, I think it you're should really be like maybe decade. Or you're, something. you're branching all of this over, you know, over a period of time, right. and you're seeing your character, your persona, sort of, you know, ruling and dying, or or controlling and then dying, and and it's it's just it's part of the whole cycle here. So you're expected to die. So you can't go into the game thinking. Well, I, I want to defend myself so I so I don't die. But you also want to time it so that you die right. at the right time. Yeah. Uh, so that it's convenient for <laughs> succession, right? So you've got yeah. to keep all that. And I think that all kind of ties into the theme. And I think that's done really well. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, managing the empire, you know, holistically. Yeah. You know, I think that's that's really done well here. Is, you know, with the food and the and the famine. Yeah. And the, uh, the the tax collection. So I think that's all done, and it all ties in. So from thematically, I think it's really tight. Okay. So. Did you want to say anything about mechanics? Yeah, and, the, and well, I think because of the theme, <laughs> the mechanics kind of feed into it, you know. Yeah. So and just strictly from mechanics perspective, right? right. So you're you're combining like a sort of a, a twist on, on on action selection worker placement almost, right? Because your stamina is your worker, in this case. Yeah. And those are what you're putting on your right. your, your actions, actions, right? Your, uh, you've got multi-use cards, which I always like. Mm -hmm. You've got events, which I think really shake up the game. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool, too. Uh, and the forums give a nice kind of yeah, the permanency. Cool. Yeah, it's kind of like an ongoing, um, you know, additional bonuses as you go. You can yeah. kind of pick and choose what you think is going to work for you. Yep. And I do like the, the manipulation of the production and Senate tracks. I think that's pretty neat, too. Because right? yeah. it gives you flexibility in your strategy. And it's really... It's really tough to kind of wrap your head around some of the strategy because there's so many moving parts and you're so limited in what you can do on any given turn. Um, but I do think there are some, at least in a two-player game, there are some plot and event cards that are a little overpowered, mm -hmm. uh, i.e. you taking the air token twice as mm -hmm. the emperor and me not even getting that card. So I didn't have the option of doing that. And you could argue that I should have assassinated the Emperor mm -hmm. early on, but then I wouldn't have been able to get any of the other things done. And because you were not the Emperor the whole game, you were able to get a lot more done on your own player mat yes. than I was. 
So you did make up some points. I think that's not the, being the, the emperor, balance. You know, but, so it is a balance. But we've played we've played this several times, and I know like the first time we played, we didn't com conflict at all. Like no, we didn't. We didn't. We just opted not, and, and not like actively. We weren't like okay, we're not going to kill each other. Right. But we played this as an action selection game, whatever. And um, I think I was the emperor the entire time, just mm -hmm. kind of taking all kinds of actions and stuff, and. Uh, it was very unbalanced. Yeah, way, I was so. going around cleaning up the invaders. Yeah, he's you know, like so cleaning up Rome. I'm keeping Rome all clean. The points. She's getting all the points. <laughs> and all of a sudden at the end, I'm like, I got crushed. I had yeah. a ton of money, so I was... Well, and it would have been I mean, the same way this game played. Yeah. Essentially. I mean, you didn't get points until the very end. Until the you end. One point. When I collected all you know? the money. Yeah, this game, it was the same way. But I think, um, like, we went into this game fully knowing that we're going to mm -hmm. go at each other. Yeah. Right? And um, that's not our normal, and you know us. Like, yeah. that's totally not how we play. Yeah. Um, but we had to think outside of the box here and really start to come up with ways. Well, especially because that's a, it's such a mechanic that's it's so It's critical, critical in this game. game. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that, all of that being said, what do you think about the weight? What would you call this? You know, it's kind of a little heavier... A little on the heavier side, I think. Really? I, I, I'm I think, gonna say midweight, solid midweight. Yeah, I'm a little bit on the heavier mid because I think, I, I think if you just take it mechanically, yes, mm -hmm. I I totally agree. Yeah. But I think understanding how the whole emperor and heir and senate and all of like to understand all of those different tracks and opportunities. Right. Is a little bit more advanced than just your straight up midweight. I'm here to score points because if yeah. you play this like a euro and just select actions and score points, you will lose. Right. Yeah. You have to find a way to set the game up in such a way mm -hmm. that you are able to take control of right. the empire at the right time. Yeah. To score, and if you just go out and say, "Oh, I'm going to clean up all these blue cubes because I'm going to get a lot of her," you know, these. Uh, Glory nice. dice because I'm gonna earn some more plot cards. That's great, but you're yeah. really just helping the emperor. And right. they, and if they keep hoarding the uh, the air token, you're never gonna get a chance because you cannot score points in this game unless you're the emperor throughout the game. It's really right. hard to do that. Well, and I think that's why I think that's why I, I kind of say like solid midweight mm -hmm. because or I mean if you want to argue like a little bit heavier. Yeah, I'm not saying it's a heavy game. It's not a heavy game by any means. No. It's it, you know, and, and as a matter of fact, I think that you're going to score the most points by being emperor. Yeah. So if you want to win or stay in the race, make sure you're the emperor by any means necessary. And there's lots of ways to become the emperor. You know. Yeah. There's right. really no other way to score points. You have to assassinate like, the emperor. That's really all there is. All so can. as long as you can do that, you can play this game successfully. Yeah. I think. You I know what agree. I mean? Um, so. Yeah. And I don't agree. forget to that you can kill people, senators, and stuff. Yeah, you can do a lot of assassinating in this game. All right, um, so who do you think this game is for? Uh, this is absolutely for the uh, historical war buff, like who likes this sort of theme. Right? Yeah, and I wouldn't even say war. I would say like, I mean, it's kind of set in a war setting. Yeah. But I would say the the politician. Yeah, a political, yeah, historical. If you're into political history. Political, definitely if you're into Rome and, yeah. and that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, and you like sort of espionage games. Were you really espionage is like spies? Well, it's kind of like, but it's also assassination, right? And, and yeah, like infiltrating and, and messing up infrastructure. Yeah, that's true. Right, because you're you're almost like infiltrating the Senate to control them. Right? Yeah. From an yeah. espionage standpoint, because yeah. that's and what I did. I did the whole my whole right. game was espionage. Well, we didn't get to it, but if, if for some reason there is no heir when the emperor dies, yeah. the default is to go. You check the Senate who leads as Senate. one of the steps, and that's the person who gets the emperor. Right. So, so. I, I maintain control right. of the government. Yeah. And by that, I was controlling the production lines mm -hmm. and the Senate, and that's right. that really that's how I ended up with as many points yeah. as I did at the end. Otherwise, I would not have gotten this, and I was right. able to get almost all of my buildings out on the board. Yeah. And uh, so that's why I think this would appeal to those who like being able to do sort of that political setup and then yeah. being able to go at your opponents in such a way that, you know, a lot of it seems direct, but there's not, you don't really get punished for getting assassinated. You know what I mean? You're not really losing out on a lot. No. But, you know, you have to be open to to conflict. Do it as well. yeah. yeah, there's this is well, a very that, high conflict game. That it's important to mention that. So it's like not only do you, is this a game for somebody who is okay with being conflicted with, mm -hmm. like 
you know, all right, you're gonna kill my emperor guy, fine. But you also have to be actively interested in being strategically conniving, yes. as you mentioned. So, you know, it's not just somebody who's got like thick skin and can take being killed every now and, and now and again, but you also have to actively think about how am I gonna screw the other person. Mm -hmm. You have to plot for the best opportunity right. to screw the other player. Right. And that's, you have to be want, you know, willing and wanting to do that. And mm -hmm. if you enjoy that type of yeah. like, yeah, that type of conflict, that type of which is not as direct as just a straight up, you know, combat game, yeah. then yeah, you'll absolutely love this. Yeah. There's no question. Yeah. Because it, it really is a neat way to interact with other players in such a way that you almost have to plan their downfall and set it up. And I like that. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. So, um, other audiences, this plays solo. It does, yeah. So, if yes. you're a solo person, um, that might be a good option for you. <laughs> sure. I mean, you won't have um, the, the conflict. Yeah. It'll be you just trying to manage the empire mm -hmm. while the invaders are coming in. So, yeah. you, you're not going to get sort of that feel. Mm hmm. But I think. It's um, small groups, too. So, one, two, or three. Yeah. So, I think you'll miss out on that whole. You know that whole uh, you know player to player conflict yeah. and, and sort of the, I think that's where this game really shines is in is in that yeah in that ability to sort of st strategize around you know the other player's demise yeah for sure all right, so, all right. Um, anything else you wanted to say I mean we kind of wanted to talk about how like kind of what makes this one different because again we mm -hmm. get a lot of Kickstarters in we play a lot of games um, but what makes this different what makes it unique. And I think we've spoken about yeah, it. Yeah, I think. But is there anything else you wanted to say? No, I think that was the biggest thing, right? Is yeah. It's this kind that's... of unique, um, this unique mechanic of of you know, assassinating another player. Right. Um, to take control, not necessarily just to kill them, because you're not doing it just because you want to kill the other player. You right. want to do it because you want to seize control of the empire yeah. and score the points, which is really, it's, it's really a neat mechanic in sort of the role swapping and that you have you do have control over you know trying to seize control of it right and i think that's it's a really interesting part because it it kind of it's like we i really like twilight struggle for example mm -hmm. which kind of has the same political basis like it's it's that kind of strategy sort of yeah but you're not but in this game that mechanic of like switching the emperor from person to person and therefore making what was like the inverse of your strategy now your strategy yeah. and having to you know level with that throughout the game yep. makes this really really unique yeah so and it's you know just for example me having to go around deciding purposefully not to go and clean up the blue cubes right you know leave them out there let them do yeah. that Push off the aqueduct. You know what? Right. Ah, the empire doesn't need this right now. Push up the grain story. Yeah, get price, the grain prices price, up. Yeah. So I'm really like kind of putting it to the emperor. Right. You know, and uh, and not really openly like attacking the emperor, but just right. making the emperor's job really difficult. Yeah. Um, which is a neat mechanic in this game. It's because mm -hmm. you're you're constantly shifting roles where you're not trying to see the empire fall, but you want to see it. You want to hold it back just enough that the current emperor is struggling. And using up all their actions right. so that you can swoop in, clean it up real fast, uh -huh. and then score the year. Right. Like if you can do that, like that's the way to go. Right. So I think that's where this thing is really stands out. All right. Cool. All right. So uh, there you have it. Dying in the Purple is on Kickstarter. We will add the link to the Kickstarter page mm -hmm. down below if you're interested. Uh, if this is right up your alley, go check it out. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, definitely unique. Definitely unique. So. All right. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no, check us out on Facebook, um, Twitter, and where else are we? On the interweb. On the Emails, YouTube. On the YouTube. Yeah, check us on YouTube. Um, email us at nightloudgamesgmail.com if you would like. Yep. And uh, I think that's it. All right. So there you have it. Dawn of the Purple. We'll see you next time. See ya.